capable and comfortable, SUVs are some of the most popular new vehicles to buy. To meet the needs of shoppers, the Tucson and Palisade are two attractive options. When comparing these vehicles, you'll find plenty of appeal for both models, which share a well-built cabin and a long list of safety features. We'll compare each vehicle across categories, declaring a winner for each round. Ultimately, it's up to you to determine which SUV brings the best value for your needs and budget. A considerable price gap exists between the smaller and more affordable Tucson and the larger Palisade. The Tucson starts at $27,250, while the Palisade starts at $36,400. The base Tucson SE includes the most essential features, like support for wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, plus important safety features like blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. If you're shopping for all the bells and whistles, you're looking at $36,510 for the limited edition. That's just about the starting price for the base model, Palisade SE. For a fully equipped Palisade, you'll spend over $50,000 for the luxury calligraphy trim, including a massaging driver's seat. The new for 2024 Calligraphy Night Edition pushes the price even further past the $50,000 mark. While Hyundai backs both vehicles with outstanding warranty terms, the Palisade surpasses Tucson for reliability. It has a JD Power Predicted Reliability Score of 81 out of 100. The Tucson has a reliability score of 80. A JD Power Predicted Reliability Score of 91 to 100 is considered the best, 81 to 90 is great, 70 to 80 is average, and 0 to 69 is fair and considered below average. In terms of warranty coverage, Hyundai offers a 5-year or 60,000-mile limited warranty and a 10-year or 100,000-mile powertrain warranty for both vehicles. Those excellent warranty terms should give buyers peace of mind when considering either SUV. The good news is that the Palisade and Tucson share many similarities in terms of seat comfort. Both vehicles are notable for offering spacious and supportive seats that will keep you comfortable, even on long trips. It's nearly a draw between these two vehicles for seat comfort, but seating capacity is the tipping point. The three-row Palisade brings standard seating for eight to the table, outdoing the two-row Tucson that seats five. Legroom in the first and second row is comparable in both vehicles, and it's worth noting that even the Palisade's third row provides enough legroom for adults. You won't be disappointed by the cargo room inside either of these Hyundai SUVs. For a compact SUV, the Tucson impresses with 74.8 cubic feet of cargo capacity when the rear seats are folded flat. However, it falls short when compared to the Palisade, which has a maximum cargo capacity of 86.4 cubic feet. While the Palisade wins this round for maximum cargo capacity, shoppers should consider cargo capacity with all seats in place. The Tucson gives you 38.7 cubic feet of room behind the second row. The third row seats in the Palisade consume some cargo space. With all seats in place, this mid-size SUV has only 18 cubic feet of cargo capacity. If you fold the second row flat, you can increase that to 45.8 cubic feet. So, the decision hinges on prioritizing seating capacity to cargo space. Hyundai has made it hard to choose between the well-appointed interiors of the Tucson and the Palisade. Still, a few flourishes make the Palisade the winner in terms of interior quality. The Palisade is clearly designed with comfort and quality in mind, giving you unique features like a winged headrest in the second row and more adjustable armrests for increased comfort on long trips. However, you can't go wrong with either choice since both vehicles offer quality fit and finish with a pleasant mix of hard and soft touch plastics throughout the cabin. Around town or on the highway, road and wind noise are at a minimum. The Palisade is the vehicle to choose from for more standard features and optional amenities. While some features are shared between the Palisade and Tucson, like support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the Palisade pulls ahead with a larger standard touchscreen and more features at every trim level. The Palisade's generous 12.3-inch touchscreen commands attention and is praised for being fast and responsive. 
Its usability is enhanced by some physical controls, which can make it easier for the driver to operate while driving. Other perks of the Palisade include a Wi-Fi hotspot, the option for an in-car intercom, and an outlet with a 115-volt household-style plug. The Palisade is equipped with a powerful V6 engine that gives it more gusto compared to the four-cylinder engine of the Tucson. While neither vehicle is designed to wow you with off-the-line performance, the Palisade's 291-horsepower engine outperforms the 187-horsepower engine in Tucson. In real-world scenarios, you can expect more passing power and an easier time getting up to highway speeds in the Palisade, but both vehicles get the job done. An 8-speed automatic transmission and standard front-wheel drive are shared features on both drivetrains, with available all-wheel drive. As you would expect, the smaller Tucson is the better performer on gas mileage. Its EPA estimated to give you 25 miles per gallon in the city and 32 miles per gallon on the highway for front-wheel drive models. The all-wheel drive economy drops to 23 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon on the highway, but these figures are excellent for a compact SUV. For even better fuel economy, you might consider the Tucson Hybrid, which offers standard all-wheel drive and gas mileage of 38 miles per gallon for city and highway driving. While it's impressive on other levels, the Hyundai Palisade is just average in fuel economy and subpar when compared to the Tucson. The EPA estimates front-wheel drive models of the Palisade for 19 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. Shoppers looking for an all-wheel drive SUV will be impressed to know that opting for this drivetrain only dips fuel economy to 19 miles per gallon city and 24 miles per gallon highway. There's no wrong choice to be made when comparing the ride and handling of the nimble Tucson and the spacious Palisade. Both vehicles receive praise for responsive and well-weighted steering dynamics, plus suspension that delivers a smooth, comfortable ride. The result is a pleasant cabin experience for the driver and passengers. Keep in mind that Tucson's more compact dimensions are an asset for urban environments in terms of parking or navigating tight corners. However, the Palisade does offset its size with safety features like front parking sensors, a surround view parking camera, and park assist. We can't declare a winner without full crash test ratings for the Tucson and Palisade. Still, both vehicles include a long list of standard and available safety options, sharing such features as forward collision warning and forward automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, and driver attention monitoring. The Palisade has detection for pedestrians, cyclists, and junctions as a standard feature. It also has optional reverse collision warning and reverse automatic emergency braking. The Tucson includes pedestrian and cyclist detection features, but doesn't offer the others highlighted for the Palisade. Although testing hasn't been completed, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration did give both Hyundai SUVs five stars in the frontal crash test and four stars in the rollover crash test. Both vehicles offer outstanding attributes when it comes to driving dynamics and safety. However, the three-row Palisade excels by offering more room for passengers, increased cargo capacity, a longer list of available features, higher interior quality, and stronger acceleration. The Tucson is still worth considering, especially if you don't need the extra space of the Palisade's third-row seat. It boasts a lower manufacturer's suggested retail price and better fuel economy.